Are you ready to learn ClickFunnels 2.0? Great. My name is Mark Douglas. I'm the guy behind the Mental Marketer and the private Facebook group Funnel Building 101. And welcome to the ClickFunnels 2.0 video training series. In this video training series, I'll show you step by step everything you need to get up and running with the ClickFunnels 2.0 software. If you haven't already done so, please look around this video for links to any downloads that are mentioned in this video. Thanks for watching, and if you have any questions, feedback, or suggestions, don't hesitate to leave a comment or reach out to me or someone on my team. With that being said, if you're ready, then let's get to the training. Welcome to this video showing how to import contacts in bulk inside of ClickFunnels 2.0. This has been one of the most highly awaited and anticipated features for ClickFunnels 2.0 because this really allows you to move all of your contacts over and into ClickFunnels 2.0 and begin using ClickFunnels 2.0 exclusively for your entire business. Your contacts, their info, and email marketing are really the backbone of your business. Now, before you had to integrate and pay for all these different external email and SMTP providers for email marketing, but that is no longer necessary necessary because now you can do that directly inside of your ClickFunnels 2.0 account and save money by avoiding paying for those other services. Now, if you've been following along with the ClickFunnels 2.0 video training series, you should have your account set up, your domain set up, everything integrated with ClickFunnels Classic if you had an account and you have a better understanding of the new features inside of 2.0. And if you're extra special, you may even have your sales funnel hub set up as well. But if not, make sure to go back to one of the prior videos and get caught up to have everything set up correctly, okay? Now, this this feature is super important because once you have this set up, cancel all those other services and operate completely inside of ClickFunnels. How cool is that, right? A couple of things to note that ClickFunnels really took the time to build 2.0 from the ground up and build it for the future and long term. So that extra time has actually yielded a superior product. They needed to make sure that it worked with all types of CSV files, integrations, and everything that will be coming in the future. And I personally love the way that they're building things. They're so much pressure sometimes to rush things, but quality and building for the long term always beats just finishing something for convenience. Now, there are many more additions that are still coming, so just know that by the time you view this video, it may look different, but for now, it's super simple and easy. So if you're in your ClickFunnels dashboard where you can see I only have a few contacts here, you want to go to your contacts right over here on the left side, and then simply, once you hit that contacts, you'll simply look for this on the right top area that says CSV import. Now, a couple of things. Now, they're working on additional import types so that you can import different types of files. But right now, we can just do CSV, which is basically your Excel or Google Sheet. So you just click on X, you click on CSV import. Now, if you don't know what a CSV file is supposed to look like, you can actually download an example CSV file here. Now, I've already downloaded my contacts from Classic beforehand, and I'll show you what that looks like. So this is what a CSV file looks like. Now you can see the data that's here in the file. You have your account, your email, and these are the uh, the type of data that's in this CSV file that I actually downloaded from ClickFunnels Classic. You have phone numbers and any information that you have collected from your uh, subscribers. And it shows all of these details. Now we're back inside of the editor and I'm going to do is upload the file and show you how this works. You just click on upload file. That will prompt you to select the CSV file. As you can see here, I've got that CSV file that's labeled contacts from, from ClickFunnels Classic. You'll click that and then click open to continue. One thing to note is that the longer the list, the longer the import time. And if you're experiencing long import times, let's say you're uploading over 100,000 contacts, it could take quite a bit of time. So you may want to upload and batches. Now, once the list has been uploaded, we want to uh, map fields. Uh, now, if you've done this before, you can come and say, would you like to start with a field mapping from a free previous? Previous import and then you can actually use a previous mapping that you've done just in case the idea of mapping is hard for you to uh, grasp then let me explain in the Excel sheets or, or CSV files, there are these columns, right? There are these columns such as name, first name, full name, address. So the first column has name, second column has email address, and then third column has et cetera, et cetera. But every Excel sheet could be different. So when you pull the information from this sheet, you need to tell ClickFunnels 2.0 where the information in each column belongs inside of the ClickFunnels 2.0 CRM. So otherwise, if you upload it, it will put the information in 
completely different fields. So by mapping, it tells the software where to put the information from each column, which basically says, okay, this column right here is everyone's last name. And this column right here is everyone's first name, et cetera, et cetera. And so you tell ClickFunnels what it is on this file and what it should be translated to inside of the ClickFunnels CRM. So it makes sure to put everything in the right entry. So that's what mapping means for those who are like me and like what's mapping. So we got each column here and then we go back to the editor and we click on continue. Now here we can start to map each column. Right here, you can see all of the columns that it actually pulled from that CSV file. And now what we need to do is go in and say exactly where that goes inside of our ClickFunnels 2.0. Uh, once you get inside the contact field, you can say ID, you can actually input that and it will bring it up. So I'll go through and I'm going to map everything. And if it doesn't have anything, just leave it blank. I'm going to go through and fill in all this information. Okay, now once you have completed all of your mapping and you've verified everything, if you'd like to see everything that I have mapped out in my list from ClickFunnels Classic to ClickFunnels 2.0, find a link somewhere around this video and I will show you where I classified each of those columns. Find that link around this video. Next thing you want to do is hit continue down here. Okay, great. And then we can actually review all of our mapping and then what you want to do is go down here and you want to confirm that everyone is over 18 and has given permission and if you want to overwrite any existing contacts with a matching email you can write that too it's up to you but that's it it's literally that simple once it's done you can either edit the setting discard or go back but we want to perform the import action import action was approved and we can see here there's a progress bar now, what we see here is the process of the contacts being imported from ClickFunnels class. And once the import is completed, you will see the results of that import. If you're having problems actually importing, here are a couple of tips for you. You may want to make sure that you've cleaned up your email list prior to uploading that CSV file. Cleaning that list up from unsubscribes, just clean up that list from any unactive email subscribers. And the second thing you may want to do is upload the CSV file in batches. So maybe do 400 and then another 400 or 500. Once it's done importing all of your contacts, I want to show you a couple more things that you can do um, because you can actually check the details right here and it's going to show you the results and the progress. And it shows you how many contacts were imported and then it's going to show you how many failed. And you can actually download the file that shows all of the contacts that it failed to import. And one more tip, if you're having problems uploading it as well, uh, you may want to reduce the amount of fields that you are mapping. So those are the three tips. Tips. Reduce the amount of fields that you're mapping, clean up the list, and then upload it in batches. So these are all the contacts that I've imported. I want to show you one other thing. And when you go to the, uh, the contacts, and you can see that these are all the ones that I've imported today. So this is really, really cool stuff. This is how you move your business over into ClickFunnels 2.0. It also adds a tag onto those subscribers telling you when it has imported into your ClickFunnels 2.0 account. Now, if you haven't already built your funnel hubs, your funnels, your opt-in page, connected your payment processors and set up the email marketing to make sure to check around this video for more videos to help you get everything set up inside of ClickFunnels 2.0. And until next time, we'll see you on the next video.